What's up everybody, we back with another video. And today, I just wanted to talk about something and I have a question to pose for y'all. So, the question is, do y'all feel like Raccoon Digi is starting to get a little bit greedy? Because I've been looking at the um, resource distri distribution and things like that, and they are reaching a point where they're starting to make rubies an exclusively premium resource. So, there are some people inside of this free ad section right here, they do not have access to ruby tickets and that is quite strange to me man because rubies they're already very expensive if you look at the um the math on that you're looking at one dollar for 10 rubies so every one dollar you spend on rubies you get 10 that's why if you spend 20 dollars on rubies you get 200 you spend 10 dollars you get 100 now i did some math on another thing as well they get about 10 cents per ad that we watch right so they're getting 10 cents per ad and we were getting about six rubies per day from these, well, the people who had it before and got it taken away anyway. <clears throat> they were getting about six rubies every single day from watching these ads, and there are a total of 10 ads, right? So they're making about a total of $1 off of these ads, and you're not even getting a full 10 rubies from watching them. So I don't really understand why they're being so greedy, why they're putting gems inside of here, or why they're trying to make rubies an exclusively premium resource. Because if you go into the mall right here, you're going to see that most of the things inside of here are either going to cost real money or rubies. Now, they're starting to deter people away from these uh, ads. They're going to be losing a lot more money because some people, they were only watching those ads to get the rubies. And as I said in the previous video, when you watch all your ads every single day for a month, you get 210 rubies. Now, if you do the math on that, they're making about $30 if you watch all 10 of these ads every single day for an entire month. That's 30 bucks inside their pockets. You get 210 rubies. You know what that is? <laughs> that is $21 worth of rubies, and they're making $30 off of you. That's an entire $9 profit, and they're helping out free-to-play players at the exact same time. So Raccoon Digi, if you just so happen to stumble across this video, Please, don't be so greedy. Let your free-to-play players also have a way to access these rubies because I think that was the last way that was left for people to actually get them without spending money. So let's look around here real quick. Let's click on events, see if we can see some rubies in here. No, if you buy some rubies, you can get some stuff. <laughs> but you don't see any rubies here either. You don't get any rubies for the daily tasks. You don't get rubies for season rewards. You don't get rubies for the trophies you get inside of this little tab over here either, the honor tab. You don't get rubies from basically anything anymore if you no longer have access to ruby tickets inside of this free ad section. <laughs> I'm going to say it again, man. Raccoon Digi, please stop being so greedy. Help your free-to-play players out. And please... Do not make rubies exclusively a premium feature. Some people are like 12 years old and they play this game because they love it. They were watching their ads every single day, supporting the game, and you just basically stripped that away from them. That's it, man. I'll catch y'all on the next video.